and being merciful, just as I had had on you. And his anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should then pay that debt, all that he owed. See, this is how my heavenly father would treat each of you unless you forgive your brother and your sister from your heart. I'm telling you, church, this is a time where we need to ask forgiveness of the Lord. How many times? Oh, just the seven? No, the 70 times seven. Ask God to wash us and to cleanse us with His precious blood that we may be cleansed from the very crown of our head to the very soles of our feet. I'm telling you, I don't want to be like the wicked servant that calls judgment on someone else. He owed me a little, and I owed him so very much. I'm talking the Lord. And he forgave me. He removed my debt. He said, I'll cancel your debt, and I set you free. So why should not we and ourselves cancel the debt? Cancel the debt of others, of what the others have done within our lives. Why, church? So that we can live. So that we can be free. So that our debt will be canceled. I don't want the Lord to come back and say, No, you're the wicked servant that you then incarcerated the person that you were indebted to. I'm telling you, church, this word is alive. And I pray, my heart's prayer here today, that if you say, oh, Jesus, what have I done? I'm telling you, we have the blood. And we can ask for forgiveness. And we can come before the Lord even here today, even here right now. That God will wash us and cleanse us and give us a brand new start so that we can come again. And that God will be so merciful to us. And that we in turn will have compassion and love as he is for us with our thoughts, with the things that we do, like I mentioned before, you know. Things that people are seeing on their phone these days is so easily accessed to get into things that we don't want to. You know what? Just push that button. Do you want to see more of this? Uh, no, I don't want to see more of this. And especially if it's taking you to sin, if it's taking you into going into spectrums and areas where we have to be prayed up. And ask the Lord to help us to overcome those temptations. And that reminds me the word of the Lord that was given to me today. When we have personal problems with temptations and be transparent about them. Asking those in leadership, pray for me today. I've come against such a, a, a hard a, attack from the enemy that's you know, trying to, to lead me away, to be lustful, and maybe to do things that are shameful. You know what, church? I need prayer. You know what? Those in your leadership, I need par- prayer. Be transparent about things. We are the body. And the body of Christ is there so that we can tighten this up. You know, that's the reason why the Lord literally in our armor has given us the belt of truth and this is the belt of truth here today come to truth upon the matter of the things that are happening it's not to bring us shame because the lord is not here to bring us shame or to be shameful it's not under the spirit of having the spirit of a condemnation no 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 church This is the spirit of conviction. And the spirit of conviction brings us closer to God so that we can ask God truly from our heart that He will cleanse us, that He will wash us, church, that He will purify us and make us whole and healed today. I want to pray with you. 
if you have personal, uh, you know, I know we're here on the comments, but I'm telling you, you could message me. If you want to leave your prayer request there, it's time for prayer. We can pray for one another, standing in the gap, believing what you are believing for with God. I want to stand in the gap with you here today, all across my platforms. Amen. As well as those that are on my speaker family. We love you, church. And we're coming in here on Spanish. We're going to be doing Spanish as well. Because today is El Dia de los Madres. This Sunday will be a special Sunday. Will be a day for the mothers. Amen. But I say the day of the mothers is for every day. And, you know, maybe I, it reminds me to do something. So I will be doing something. But, church, we love you. I want to pray as we be dismissed here today. Take this to heart and truly come into the 70 times 7. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for today. I thank you, Lord, for your blessed promises, your love that is ever, a never-ending love. It's an everlasting love that as you've spoken in volumes into my life, that my life is open and it is bare before the throne of God. That anything that I have ever said or did or maybe didn't say that I needed to say, ask for forgiveness. Let's come clean before the Lord and just be prayerful and thankful and glorifying and praising the name of our God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day once again. If the Lord permits, we will be there live. We are gathering. Come on now. Those who are in Fort Worth or don't mind the drive, we are uh, lifting up hands in a physical building. Amen. We're creating the gathering to be in a different sphere. Amen. With other brothers and sisters in the Lord. Latinos hablando español. Amen. Para bendecir los almas de Dios. Church, we are there. If you need any information, once again, feel free to message me. Look up Tina Viesca Designs wearing that merch to glorify the name of the Lord. Keeping me in your prayers to allow access back to all of our books there through Amazon. Amen. We love you with a passion. Dios te bendiga. We will be going in Spanish so very soon. Ahorita vamos a entrar en Palabra de Español para ustedes, mi pueblo latino. God bless you, church. We'll see you soon. God bless you. Love you. Dios te bendiga, hermano. Thank you, all those on Tina Viesca. Hallelujah. All those on Crossing Borders International. We love you, church. Until next time. Yeah.